I'm Jada Montemarano for Red Carpet Report at the Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills, and we're here for the 2016 Media Access Awards promoting disability awareness in film and television. So how does it feel to be out here at this event today? It's amazing. Um, we're extremely proud of Speechless and uh, what it is doing for the um, uh, disability community, and uh, to be a part of it, a small part of it, is uh, it's extraordinary. I'm very, very, very proud. Did you have any connection with anyone with disabilities before joining the show Speechless? Um, I, I have a, an, uh, a cousin who has uh, autism um, and a couple of friends here, but nothing as, as, uh, as big as this has been. Uh, there's been such an outreach after uh, the program has, has aired that I've, I've gotten so many messages of, of, uh, of people really connecting to the show and, and loving uh, that we're doing it in a respectful way, but first and foremost, very funny. It's a yes. very <laughs> funny show. Yes. And then to, uh, to do it in, in uh, such a way that, uh, that it's very accessible for, for a lot of families and uh, for them to be very proud, it just makes us very proud of it, too. What do you hope this show does in the future with diversity inclusion on TV? Well, I hope that um, it opens up to um, people hiring more of those that uh, that have uh, CP or have autism or have CP uh, or uh, are, you know that are um, differently abled. Um, now I feel like uh, to go back is lazy and and um, very disrespectful. So uh, uh, there are people of all stripes that can. Uh, do this job. Unfortunately for me, I might be out of a job. <laughs> but uh, but I hope it, it does uh, open um, this up. I, I equate it to uh, a lot of my um, relatives, African American relatives, where they would see James Brown on television in the 50s and like, everybody come in, you got to see James Brown. He's on TV and he's amazing. And uh, just to have that pride uh, that I've, I've heard from families with disabilities is uh, is an amazing thing. They want to be represented, and I hope we are doing that with well. I hope we're doing that well. Yeah. And on the show, you play someone's voice. How is it to be someone to be someone's voice? How does that feel? How? Well, it's 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 different. It's uh, as an actor, I have to do both roles in a sense uh, because I'm I'm. Um, being his voice as well as my own and so a lot of times it's just me doing a lot of monologuing you know it's just me speaking for a long time but I'm hoping that people are um, understanding and getting what it is but uh, as an actor it's a little schizophrenic a little bit but um, but I think people are, uh, are enjoying the humor uh, I hope people are enjoying the chemistry that Micah Fowler and I have, that we're actually boys, we actually really like each other, and we're hoping that that, that has uh, come across on TV. Explain that chemistry. How did that happen? How'd that go? Well, it was a natural thing. Micah's just a cool dude. He's just a guy you want to actually get to know and hang out with. And um, so uh, before um, the show started, we got a chance to actually get to know each other a little bit, and, uh, and I think it's just working <laughs> yeah. other than the dynamic with him the dynamic with the entire cast how, how is that that is uh, it's it, it's interesting because when you are put in a um, new show a lot of people you don't know at all so you kind of have to have chemistry right away um, we we were able to rehearse for you know a couple of weeks before the show was to uh, be shot and uh, so we were able to do that and um, and I think just you know, we we really, really fell in love with the script. We wanted to do justice to it, and so I think we all were on our our uh, p's and q's, and we got it done. So awesome. it was really yeah. great meeting you. Really nice to meet Thank you. you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more interviews. And in the comments below, let us know what your favorite interview from today was.